Sagittarius. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. This is going to be a reading for you and it's going to be I'm asking Spirit to guide me and show me what Sagittarius needs to know for their highest good. So this is going to be a reading where the Oracle cards go here which are all for you, the Tarot cards over here which are the energies around you. Feel free to vice versa the masculine and feminine on the cards. So take what you can use and leave what does not connect. So thank you for all the support, comments, welcome cross watchers. I read the cards, you decide how they apply to you. Here we go. So Sagittarius, the first one is seven, dancing in the rainbow. So this is break free from whatever you feel is holding you back, express happiness and find out what you truly desire. So the universe is asking you to go after your happiness. It's time. It's time to quit stalling out or dreaming about it, thinking about it. It's time to be active about it. So the next one is 16, Inner Desires. Beautiful Sagittarius. This is abundance. This is the cowrie shell. is considered good luck. It's considered to bring a windfall in because it was used in, as money years ago. It was used in religious ceremonies, you know, as decoration, good luck, gifts. So the cowrie shell has a special meaning of luck and abundance. And we are moving into um, the way the planets are. Um, could be really good for you. So the Chakra Wisdom Deck has Seven of Cups. So this is you spending a lot of time looking in the past. There's some hurt that really hurt you and you spend a lot of your energy looking back and giving energy back to this, whatever this was. So Justice. Justice is Libra placement, wanting things to balance out, yin and yang, where the positive and the negative um, go side by side and things just balance themselves out. So something's going to balance out. You're going to deal with this, I feel. So lovers, look at this. A new lover's coming towards you, Sagittarius. Beautiful. Could be Gemini. And then you have strength, which could be Leo placement. So you have strength, or this new lover makes you feel very strong, is what I'm feeling. And then the next one is star. Wow. So this could be wish fulfillment and dreams for you. This could be a complete turnaround from what your life has been up till now. That's amazing. And then you have seven of swords. So seven of swords is balancing out somebody who was not for your highest good. So somebody who was vindictive, somebody who tried to hurt you, who wasn't honest with you. The next one is Nine of Cups. So Nine of Cups is you feeling very proud with this new lover. You feeling beautiful. This person makes you feel luxurious, special. And the next one is Knight of Cups. So Knight of Cups is somebody from your past coming in to offer an apology and love. So wow, that just got a whole lot different, didn't it? So then you have the Magician. So the Magician talks about a couple things. Because you have wish fulfillment and dreams up here, I do feel like a lot of you Sagittarius have manifested the person you want to be with to you. And a lot of you don't even realize how you do that. So I do feel like things are going to change where you're going to be like, wow, one day it was this way and the next day it was the next uh, different way. How did it change so much? But it's going to be for the better. These are good cards. So Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands says when you have your guard up to this person, you are going to be very guarded to whoever this person is. And then Four of Swords. Four of Swords talks about somebody regretting something and spend a lot of time thinking on something they said or did that they regret. So Mystical Cat's Tarot deck for you now is Seven of Fire. So Seven of Fire is you defending yourself. So when your life changes and you become happy, people are going to come at you and want you to defend yourself. It's not amazing. So Ace of Fire. So Ace of Fire to me is an ending of something to do with honesty, listening to your intuition. If somebody's not going to be honest with you, you're going to end it. So I feel like you're ending it with this person because they couldn't be honest with you. And then Three of C. So Three of C is friends um, supporting each other, spending time together. And then Nine of C. You have a lot of nines in here, Sagittarius. So nine of C is your future, your abundance, you're being stable, you being happy, you having wealth, you being grounded. Really, really beautiful. So then you have C King. So C King is somebody who watches you, who's very cold. I feel like this person lives far away from you, but they watch you. 
So cat magic. You've had magic twice. So the cat magic is clarifying the ending of getting rid of this person here. So I do feel like your life is going to be more positive once you release whoever this person is who has been causing conflict in your life for a while. And then you have three of fire. So three of fire is somebody looking to the universe asking how this happened, why things are happening the way they are, just being in awe. And then you have the Empress. So the Empress is new beginnings, somebody very nurturing, loving. Um, yes, very loving around kids, animals, and the High Priestess. Wow. So now we're getting um, some pretty powerful feminine energies in here. So this could be a psychic, somebody who is very a healer here on Earth. And then you have Ace of Sky. So Ace of Sky is, again, to me, honesty, something to do with honesty. Um, you, somebody knows things without even knowing how they know them. And I feel like there's some sort of issue with honesty. And then the world. Wow, you're getting a lot of faded cards, Sagittarius. So the world says that things are going to change. Your world is going to change, which we have the change up here. You're going into more peaceful. Um, I feel like you've acquired... Abundance in coins. <clears throat> Excuse me. So then you have the Emperor, which is Aries placement. Clarifying. So look, this is a couple. I didn't realize this. Wow. So this is a power couple. These are two people who um, balance each other, who get along really well. So the next one is Sea Queen. So Sea Queen is somebody very balanced, somebody who gives you guidance. You could maybe have a counselor or a therapist. And Two of Fire. Two of Fire tells me that you're taking a lot of consideration into looking at everything that has happened in your life and maybe this person's life as well and trying to figure out how it can come together and stay together in abundance. So you're trying to be very... Um, Productive, and then you have Fire King. So Fire King is somebody's pride and ego. It could be Leo placement. So a lot of pride and ego somebody has. So now I'm going to switch to the Oracle of E cards for you. And you have I got your back twenty four. So the universe is supporting you, whatever you're getting ready to go through, or what you're going through now, they're supporting you. And the next one is bring it, 11. So you have really strong communication, really strong emotions right now that you feel like you could take on anything. Beautiful. You're going to feel that way shortly is what I feel, if you don't feel that way now. So the next one is rest, 15. So they're telling you to rest because new things are coming into you and they want you to be ready and, and well adjusted to the good things coming in so you handle them accordingly and see everything for what it is. And the next one is healing grief, 19. So I feel like you're healing something that ended a while ago that you're finally healing. I've seen balance and growth in there. I'm seeing knowledge to where you have learned something and you're finally coming out of a situation where you were stuck. You're not stuck anymore is what I feel. You've moved out of the stuckness. And you're seeing people more for what they are and how they, how they communicate to you. You're not seeing them for what you want to see them as. So trade or exchange energy and create abundance. So this talks about finding somebody who matches your energy. Somebody who makes you feel comfortable, makes you feel like you're safe, makes you feel like you can talk about whatever you want and there's not going to be any repercussions whatsoever. So just be aware who you exchange your energy with, who you are around in your life. White witch, be the light. So this talks about that you're a peacekeeper, that you can calm people down and be a mediator in situations where people are having struggling. So I do feel like um, you have a lot of knowledge here. You have a lot of new beginnings. You offer a lot of peace or olive branch concerning situations to help people get along, I feel. I'm trying to see what I feel in there. I uh, am getting some sort of connection to clothes. Clothes and rugs, if that makes sense, or something like that. Um, I don't know if you're sewing a lot or you're getting ready to start making curtains and pillows for a new business or something of that sort is what I feel. 
So thank you so much, Sagittarius. Bless you. Oh, wait. Yes, I'm done. Bless you.